hello guys welcome to the channel and in this video i'll be talking about approximating the area under the curve using riemann sum and i'll show you how you can use geogebra to evaluate the area so guys first thing we need to understand is that if i'm given the function fx the area under the curve this area can be evaluated using the integral a to b fx into dx so this formula gives me the exact area under this curve over the interval a to b so the question that arises is that if i am given the function and i can evaluate the exact area then why do i need to evaluate approximate value so this situation arises when i am given the curve but i do not know what the function is or i do not know how to define the curve with a function so if i do not know the function what will i integrate and if i am not able to integrate the exact area cannot be evaluated so in that case approximating the area is the only choice so there are many methods by which the area can be approximated but in this video i'll only be talking about riemann sum so guys in riemann sum we use a series of rectangle which are of equal width and then we find the area of each rectangle and then sum them up so that gives me the approximate area now the question that arises is how many rectangles do we need to evaluate the approximate area so let's say i consider that i do have n rectangles in the interval a to b then each rectangle will have a width of b minus a by the number of rectangle and that gives me the width of each rectangle which is given by delta x so if i do know the width of each rectangle the next thing that remains is what is the height of the rectangle so depending upon the height of the rectangles the riemann sum can be divided into three types left riemann sum right riemann sum and midpoint riemann sum if the value of the function at left end point of each sub interval is the height of the rectangle then it is left riemann sum so if i talk about the first sub interval over this interval the the function value is at the left hand point is 0 so the height of the rectangle is 0 similarly for the next sub interval the the function value at the left hand point is this point so height of the rectangle is given by the function value at this point similarly for the remaining rectangles the height is defined by the left hand point of each sub interval and the formula is given by ln summation i equal to 1 to n fxi into delta x for right riemann sum if the value of the function at right hand point of each sub interval is the height of the rectangle we call it as right riemann sum so as you can see for the first sub interval the right hand point is this and at this point the height or the value of the function is this and this function value defines the height of the rectangle over the first sub interval similarly for the remaining sub interval the height is defined by the right hand point and the formula is given by rn summation i equal to 1 to n function f x i plus 1 into delta x similarly if the value of the function at midpoint of each sub interval is the height of the rectangle then the method is called as the midpoint riemann sum as you can see for the first sub interval the midpoint of this sub interval is this point and at this point the function value is this particular point and this point defines the height of the rectangle over the first sub interval so similarly the same process goes on for the remaining sub intervals 
and the formula is given by mn summation i equal to 1 to n the function value is at the midpoint of each sub interval so it is xi that is the left hand point plus the right hand point xi plus 1 divided by 2 and into delta x so that gives me the approximate area using midpoint region sum so now let's move ahead and use GeoGebra to evaluate the area so guys I have opened the GeoGebra classic and first I'll define the function so I'll consider a parabola given by fx equal to minus x square by 4 plus 2x so that's the downward facing parabola and I'll label it now before approximating the area we'll first evaluate the exit area so I'll consider the interval to be from 0 to 8 so let's first find out the exact area over this interval so for that I'll use integral I'll define the function that is fx the start value is 0 the end value is 8 so the exact area is 21.33 square units and I'll keep it as a reference show you the difference between the exact and the approximate value so for the time being I'll hide this value and the shaded region now in order to approximate the area we need to first define the number of rectangles that we want to use it may be two rectangles it may be three rectangles or it may be ten rectangles so for that I'll first define a variable let's say the variable is n and I'll first define the value to be something let's say 8 so as I define the value the GeoGebra returns me a range of values from minus 5 to 10 so that I can change so first thing what I'll do is I'll change the range of the values and that for that I'll consider the minimum value to be 2 and let's keep the maximum value to be 10 so that's the range of value of this variable let's say eight. okay now one more thing and I'll define the step to be 1 the increment to be 1 okay so now now for left Riemann sum the syntax that is used is rectangle sum first I'll have to define the function which is fx the start value will be 0 that is the left hand point and the right hand point is the is the value 8 now the number of rectangles is defined by the variable n so I'll just write n and now the position for the rectangle so for left Riemann sum the position is given by 0 and enter so for 8 rectangles n equal to 8 the area value that is returned is 21 square units which is below the exact value which was 21.33 21.33 so that means left even sum approximates the area but the value is below the exact area okay I'll again hide this thing for right even sum will again use the syntax rectangle sum the function will be fx the start value will be 0 end value will be 8 number of rectangles will be n and the position for right Riemann sum is 1 enter so again the right Riemann sum gives me the area to be 21 square units which is again below the exact value which was 21.33 square units so that is again an approximate value and for midpoint Riemann sum 
for midpoint and even sum i'll again write rectangle sum the function will be fx the start value will be 0 the end value will be 8 the number of rectangles will be given by n and the position it is midpoint and even sum so it has to be between the left and the right even sum so between 0 and 1 is 0 0.5 so i'll just write 0 0.5 and this returns me the approximate value that is 21.55 square units and now if I compare this with the exact value which was 21.33 square units the midpoint Riemann sum gives me the area which is greater than the exact value so guys if you have anything that you want to know more please do comment please like subscribe and share and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.